what's up everybody adit majani and welcome back to yet another lead code video now today we'll be uh, continuing our arrays playlist so if you have not watched it check the link in the description the problem that we'll be looking today is 1346 also called as check if uh, n and its double exists so we are given an array of integers and we need to check if there ex there exists a number which is double of other number in that array so we are we need to find two indices i and j such that they are unequal the indices are different both belong to an array uh inside the bounds and also uh, the value of ith index is equal to twice the value of jth index so we need to find something like that now if we take a look at the examples that they have given the first example is we are having an array containing 10 2 5 and 3 so here we can clearly see is 10 is twice the 5 so we should return true that is the double or the half exists similarly in the example 2 we do not have any such occurrences where a double or a half exist okay constraints are 2 to 5 so i think even the brute force approach would work so for the solution if we take a look at the brute force approach what we can do is we can just iterate uh with two nested loops for taking two elements at a time and then comparing if half or double of those two numbers exist okay so if that is the case it uh, the complexity of that would go into n squared whereas n is the total number of elements in that array now this happens because of uh, what we say nested loops now the solution for that is like this so we need to take two for loops one with iterating over i and j which would be i and j the indices for the array and we if both indices are same we are just continuing otherwise what we are doing is we are checking if ith uh element is twice the jth element or jth element is twice the ith element so either of the case in that case we we are just returning true now if we are uh, exiting from the for loop and we do not get any uh, such value in that case in that case what it means is there is uh, no such uh, double or half exists all right so moving on this is the brute force approach and uh, this is not the optimal so what we can do is we can basically use space to improve its time complexity so what we can do is we can uh, store the elements in a set because it gives us a finding complexity of amortized complexity of o of 1 so we'll be using a set and we will insert all the elements that we have seen earlier into that set and we will be checking if 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 it's double or if it's half exists so the solution uh, of with hash set goes like this so if you take a look at this here we can see we are creating a set called as check and in that we are iterating over the elements of the array now for each element we are checking if that elements double exist now count is a stl function uh, of the set and it returns uh, the total uh, if that current particular element exists or not now there there cannot be multiple instances because it is a set and it contains unique elements so it would just return 1 or 0 if that element exists that is current elements double exist in our set then in that case we return true because there are elements which are having double uh, x and 2x the second condition is that we need to check if the half of the current element exists now there is a trick with the half because the possibility is that it could be an odd number so if it is an odd number and if we divide it we will just neglect the remainder but we do not want that so we are initially checking if that element is even and if it is even then only we are just checking if element by 2 exists or not now if that exists then also we are returning true so that is the complete condition and we'll keep on uh, iterating over all the elements of the array and if that element does not exist we'll just insert that into our set now once we exit out of the for loop if we are not returning that means that there uh, the double or a half of the current element or any two indices such that uh, first is half or double does not exist so that is the optimized approach uh, so first is a brute force with nested for loop o of n square and second is the hash set approach amortized is o of n but we can say it to be n log n all right so that is the solution for uh, lead code problem 1346 i hope you like the video if you did, uh, did not understand anything comment below i'll try to respond as fast as possible if you need more such lead code content subscribe to the channel and that's all i'll see you in the next one